Hey and how's it going today? And I'm back with another movie review. And if you see any red thing in the corner, that's just my iPad cover. I'm trying to uh, angle it just a bit, I'm not sure I may need to get a new cover. But yeah, I want to talk about a movie which at first I thought was good. I was, you know, flicking through Flix HD, looking at horror movies. And I just didn't know which one to watch. So I just picked one that was one of my options of movie to watch. I like to like, you know, save a little movies in my head there to see which I want to watch next. Find ones that sound good and find ones that are more American or Australian or New Zealand or Canadian. They're, that's where the good movies are at. I mean, I know the Asian ones can probably be good too, but I will take a look at them at, at one point. And this movie is called Church of Darkness. And this is one of the movies that sounded good to me and I thought I had to watch it. So I read about it and it's about this, um, but... Just before I get into it, I, I will probably give away the whole entire movie. It's like it's like a spoiler thing, basically. So if you don't want to... So remember to always watch these videos after you've seen the movie. Or the series, or the show, whatever. Then you would have a rough idea. Then you can see how I felt by it afterwards. Makes more sense, right? Then you can comment below. And so it's basically about this devout Christian teenage boy. That moves into a, a town called Missing Point. And then um, this police officer adopts him. And... I thought, you know, when it's, the, the movie sounded good, it's, the, the picture was looking good, I thought it was going to be one of those movies. It, it The start of it was already poor. It didn't even start off good. And they had a narration. That boy was narrating what was like, you know, the start of it was going, he said, this is my story. And I think he narrated the middle of the movie as well. It was really poor. Now, I've heard narrations from other horror movies before. And um, they sounded more serious. Like, it was that night, and then um, that this thing came after me. This one is like, well, I, that, this is a story of of me going to this town. That's how it sounded like, and it didn't sound like a real horror movie. And it's horror, that's what it says there, but it wasn't scary. In my opinion, when I talk about these bad horror movies, I should, I would, I would and should really say, oh, don't watch it. But watch it if you want. You might hate. I don't know if you would like this sort of movie, I don't know how you would. But it was it was one of the most boring movies I've ever seen. It was so boring to the point where I felt nothing from it. That's been pretty harsh. At least in the other bad horror movies, you get a sense of that. Like, you at least you can laugh, at least you can face palm. It gives you a reaction. This movie didn't. The acting was awful. They put no enthusiasm, no enthusiasm, no effort into it. It was almost as if it was a kid horror movie. A horror movie made for kids. And i tell you one thing now. People might laugh at me and say, the horror movie is only made for kids. No. No. I mean, if you think about it, Doctor Who is more like a kid movie. But there's still monsters in it that could frighten a kid. This is more like a kid made it. <laughs> and it was really annoying. Like, there's not really much to talk about. This is why this movie movie is going to be quite short. Yeah, you know, there's some other base like he met, talked to this girl that he wasn't getting in school. And, um, neighbors are playing loud music. And, um, the, everybody in this town is, they don't, they, they don't like him because he's religious. Believes in God and stuff like that. And I feel like all these people are, you know, Satanists and whatnot. It was mostly, it was mostly the adults that actually, um, were, in, were part of this. I don't know what else to give him. I mean, I don't, there's not really much to talk about. And then he moved in his town because of his sick mum and whatnot. And then the the guy that was like in control of all of this, I think he was like, what was his name? Well, I know the Christian boy's name, I remember his name was called David. And then, the, well, I'm just going to call him this guy, the mayor. It was like, he's a father of one of the, the kids, basically, teenagers. And then they were like doing some sort of, they were doing rituals and whatnot, and the boy was trying to find out. It says, would he be able, would this teenage boy be able to free all these people from this cult? I did not see any anything like that whatsoever. I, I, I expected him to be like the hero of it, trying to get everyone out of it. I expected him to be held hostage or whatnot. Nothing like that at all. Towards the end, that's the only, way, that's the only time where he did good. It's an hour and a half movie. And I thought it was going to be good. I, that, these movies are deceptions, right? I don't rate movies based on their name. They, 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 it's named the Church of Darkness because it's usually the church that operates at night, basically. If that makes any sense. And there's a church of darkness. I don't rate it based on a picture. You know, it's very misleading. And it looks like it's trying to draw people in. But I rate it based on overall acting and everything. And it did look like, I don't know if it was on the website. 
I don't because the audio was a bit too like odd, but I feel like it was a bit. Mm, yeah, the acting and the everything else was just a bit down. They showed nothing. It's like they didn't want to be a part of it. Whoever wrote this script needs to watch this movie back and actually rethink and be like, you know what? I don't think this movie should have been put up, but but you put it up anyway. The rating I would have to give for this is a two out of ten. I was giving it a three, but what? Why is it deserve an extra one? Like it's it's two out of ten. I honestly, to be quite honest, I probably I would give it a two out of ten because the end part was just a tiny bit cool, and the part with the lightning strike in the church was a bit cool. That's the thing that would save it, right? It, everything else was just all drab, poor, lacks of days. Cause even I could have done better in that movie. Acting wise, I'm not, I'm not even actor, I'm not even that confident like that. You can watch it if you want. There's, I, I do, I do talk about the whole movie in, in my videos, but watch the movie first, then come to me and see how you feel about it. I don't know how you would like the movie, but there's nothing to like about it. And even, even the scenes that try to make jump scares, like the maid's eyes, they flash quickly at all red. Now, then there's like a, an odd sound effect. It was just, it was all over the place. I, I don't know who made this. Even the actors were not right for the role. And it's an hour and a half movie. I, I would have been totally fine if it was an hour and 15. I, I wouldn't be surprised. You know, um, even like the, the you know, after school lunch special too, gave me some sort of reaction of feel. This movie didn't. There was nothing happening that gave me any sort of reaction. Nothing scary. There's not much as I could talk about this movie at the precise moment. If you, if you enjoyed this video, please give a like if you want. Comment below, share with everybody you know. Subscribe and hit the bell notification below. I shall see you in my next video.